Uh, welcome to a new video where I want to talk about the UbiPorts and Vola phone. So this is UbiPorts uh, running on the Vola phone and Ubuntu Touch and Ubuntu Touch has the issue uh, by default at least that the software updates, I'm not sure if you can see it, is uh, disabled by default. So software update is disabled by default. You cannot upgrade your device further. It is uh, basically locked. What, you, what I can do is update software applications, but not the system itself. And this is a mistake in the Volaphone image that ships by default. The want to touch or Ubiports image that ships with the Volaphone. And yeah, the only possibility to solve this issue is by installing flashing Ubuntu Touch in a newer version on the Volaphone. And this is what I want to show you right now. I figured that out with the help of some friends in the Vola forum. And we will go in here and I will show you how this will work. Let me turn on the screen recording here. And I hit record here right now. So this is the screen. I think of, hopefully you can see this also with the secondary camera that I have. You have the Volaphone image here. It lists what's working, what is not working. And you have an installer here, UbiPorts installer that you can download and install. And this is exactly what I did. So if I go in here, here we have the UbiPort installer. I just click it and installed it. And then under your system, you should have the UbiPorts installer, as you can see here. Can click on it and it will open up and uh, yeah it has some things to do like the installer needs to have appropriate udev rules to be able to communicate with the devices over adb or fastboot so i set up the rules automatically have to insert my password in this case and now the roles are set up how do i need uh, i need to enable developer mode Please connect your device uh, to the Ubiports install. This tool will walk you through the Ubuntu Touch installation process. Don't worry, it's easy. Connect your device with the computer and enable developer mode. After that, your device should be detected automatically. So what I will do right now is getting a USB cable, USB Type-C cable out here, and uh, just a normal USB Type-C cable. And I will plug this one end to my USB in my laptop and the other end I will just simply plug into the uh, Volaphone and then I hope this will work out already and of course I can go into developer mode as well so how do I enable developer mode I can click on this and it will give me something probably open up the website or something telling me waiting for device do I have a developer mode here in about maybe? No, they have only developer mode. Ah. And uh, in developer mode, anyone can access and change and delete stuff. I have to go to set a passcode. So I have a one, two, three, four digit passcode now. Set it up, one, two, three, four only. I can go back and now I'm allowed to enable developer mode. So developer mode is enabled. And yeah, I'll see if it detected the device. Probably not. Let's unplug and replug it. Let's see if it works now. You can also try to select the device manually. And here I have a list of devices that I can choose from. And there's the Volaphone. So let's try selecting it manually. And I want to install you want to touch. I uh, can also choose to install VolaOS or SafishOS, but I want to install you want to touch. Um, please make sure you enable developer mode and OEM unlocking. Uh, click install. And here I have the option to choose which system I want to install. So I have the stable system, the RC, the Edge or the Devil system. Let's go with the stable system. 
I don't uh, tick wipe user data. Uh, maybe I have to unlock, uh, unclick this bootstrap option here for it, for it not to overwrite boot. Okay. This might be the issue. Not scanning for devices. It's probably not finding this again. Could have aborted this, so let's go out of here. Let's press this again, two buttons for it to restart. And then we see what happens. Should end up in fast boot now. Takes always a while on the Vola logo itself. Now it's starting you want to touch, which I don't want. I want it to start into the bootloader. But I think it is getting something because it's downloading files now. Let's see what happens. It's downloading with two megabyte per seconds. So it can take a while for downloading the UV ports image that is necessary for this device. So let's see. So now it is waiting for device. ADB is scanning for devices. Um, maybe it does not need to be in fast boot. Let's get out of here. And I just restart the device and we see. So pressing and holding again. Till the display turns off and now it should restart into the system hopefully. And we will see if this will work out. Yeah, it is starting now into one to touch. And before I had like, ah, now it is push pushing one to touch files as you can see here. So during, uh, this is a bit weird. Like the system is booting up and it is now pushing the Ubuntu touch files to the device on this, at the same time when it is booting up. That smells a little bit like disaster happening, but it started up apparently. So you can see here, it shows me the lock screen and I can interact already with the system and it's booting into the system. So it's pushing Ubuntu touch files. Okay, we'll see what happens. We'll see. Uh, this is the magic of the UbiPorts installer. You can see it's still a beta version 087 and uh, I like it. I think it has graphically wonderfully animated and I think it is clear up until to the bootloader issue because I heard from others you don't have to unlock the bootloader to push the new system on and it asked me on the first try to do this and uh, yeah i had to retry it and then i went into and unchecked the what was it something with boot boot sparse i think it was called which is like a bit cryptic for me but uh, apparently it worked oh and here the installation stopped due to a problem you can choose to ignore this or restart the installation process if this continues to happen please check if you're affected by a known bug if your problem is not uh, yet known please the please click the button um, below RDP push error code remote permission denied to permission denied permission denied let's try again <coughs> to, to see if this works I think it is working at least it's now verifying files And no, it's not very working. Let's ignore it. Let's see what happens. Internet connection lost. The installer failed to connect to the UB port server. Well, let's uh, try again. And yeah. 
to fix issues in new reports install it's vital to blah 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 and uh, yeah it's a bit wonky I would say and maybe I will do it the next time um, yeah installation of uh, the system worked apparently my system is not reacting right now on key presses so let's unplug it and try to see if it boots up or if I bricked my phone cannot break my phone I think because I didn't touch the bootload at all or it could happen of course with the system not booting up but we will see so we see the logo and now we see the want to touch logo and now the question is did the flashing of Ubuntu Touch work on this system and do we have now a newer system where I have the option to simply install stuff so here you can see the Ubuntu logo Ubuntu Touch logo it's starting booting up it takes always a bit of a while we'll see now if it works at least it gives me the option to log in I have a super secret password set 1234 and yeah, the apps are all there let's go into settings and see if anything changed here in about uh, nothing changed <laughs> so I'm officially too stupid to update this apparently ah I'm not as you can see here it is now downloading Ubuntu touch update so it worked interestingly enough it has the same version number so what I don't know what it did but uh, as you can see here it is working now so it is downloading a bigger update of 476 uh, megabytes which says it's Ubuntu, Ubuntu touch so version 11 it says here um, so I'm not sure if it is OTA 11 or OTA 16 or OTA 15 uh, but yeah this is how you <laughs> make more or less Ubuntu touch working on the Vola phone if you get the Vola phone with Ubuntu touch pre-installed and they didn't update the, the images until now uh, you might have to do this run the Uberports installer for it to be able to update your system later on so yeah it's a bit of a wonky take here video take but I can only do it once <laughs> this is why it's a bit of wonky I only have one Vola phone to check this out so I hope you enjoyed this video anyway if you have some questions you can write them down in the comment section that's everything for this video and until the next time bye